Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Let me get myself adjusted here. How's everybody doing this morning? We made it to Monday. Here we are. Welcome to Desert Adventures in Arizona. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm working off my brand new laptop, so hopefully it's working okay. The replay that I looked at for last week sounded... Uh, the sound was different, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, but hopefully everybody can hear me okay. Enjoying my coffee this morning with my CR View cup, another channel member of mine. So I always like to buy their merchandise. And I think, uh, I think that makes the morning coffee 
it tastes a little better. All right, just a reminder, I pinned uh, <clears throat> Tanya here at 9 a.m. Van Life Voyages coming live at 9 a.m. She's going to give us an update on Derek, so we'll do a raid for her. Ava Potterfield and friends, uh, thanks for the shout out this morning, Ava. Always start my Mondays off with Ava Potterfield and friends over a cup of coffee. And Thursday and Friday nights are always fun with her and Doug playing music. Look who we have in the house. Captain Jack Scrapper is here. Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> I'm interested in hearing the update on your truck, Captain Jack. There's Gracie and Jacques Adventures, a channel member, first channel member in the house. Good morning, good morning. Gracie just got her van detailed, so it's looking awesome. Mel and Nettie, Living Free Zip Codeless is in the house. Good morning, good morning. Enjoy their Friday night live streams. Always fun and lots of games. Always a good time. Scrolling, scrolling. Yeah, finally the wind has died down, huh? We had terrible wind here yesterday, too. I think it was like uh, almost 40 mile per hour winds. <clears throat> Lily T is here. Good morning, good morning. Okie's got Lucas out in the yard playing with him, keeping him out of my hair for a few minutes. Oh, yeah, good day for watching movies yesterday, huh? I was working in the garage. I'm making a new cabinet. So I'm <clears throat> I'm not a professional woodworker, but I can stick boards together to make things. I've made tables, coffee tables, things like that. And so I've wanted a cabinet next to my recliner that I can, you know, guys got to have a junk drawer. So I need a junk drawer and kind of a table type cabinet. I haven't been able to find anything that I want to purchase. And, you know, everything that you buy now is all press wood. It's basically junk unless you really get into the high dollar stuff. So what's the best way to handle that? I make it myself. Scrolling, scrolling, see who else. Oh, another channel member, Step Van Dan is here from Minnesota. I heard a lot of people have got snow springtime snow. Lily saying hello. Catherine Cook is here. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, they also got some white stuff last night. 34 degrees. My gosh. That's a good segue. Let's see what we have here in the desert. Hey, Siri, what's the weather here today? Looks like it will be partly cloudy today. Oh, that's pretty cool for us, but we'll take it. 65 degrees. We were low of 42. <clears throat> and when I look at uh, the future weather, it's going to be warming up and back into the 70s again. So we're happy about that. You know, us people that live down here in the desert, we're not happy until it hits 80. Gracie and Jock are doing great. Yep, it's going to be a wonderful day. Perfect weather, huh? Perfect weather. We'll take it because pretty soon it's going to be hotter than Hades. Camp Goer 1 is here. Good morning, Linda. Good to have you. Hope you're doing well. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Everybody's saying hello. Oh, you're not in Arizona, huh? It is sunny. It is sunny this morning. We had clouds yesterday and, and intermittent rain. So a little bit of rain to support the uh, flowers out in the desert. We like that. Look at that. Wanderers chasing horizons. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you. Welcome. Welcome. Another channel member in the house, there's Lonnie, the Crafty Traveler. She's putting out videos too, so be sure to check her channel out. She does a lot of traveling with her and Snickers. 
Slightly tin can here, but okay. All right. <clears throat> Glad to hear that. I know it's tough to wake up at six, huh? I woke up at about five minutes to six, jumped on Ava's live and said, I got to get some coffee. I'll be listening. Scrolling, scrolling. There is another channel member. Mo Bang for your bucks. Good morning, Tim. <clears throat> Tim just got back from Florida, so he's got some videos coming out of his Florida trip, and I'm assuming it was a vacation. It's a great time to go down there. Good to see you, Linda. Good to see you. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Still slowly going. The replacement truck deal from a couple weeks ago is back on the table. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think there was an issue. Captain Jack's truck is from Pennsylvania, I think, and it's uh, got a little bit of rust on it. Well, maybe a lot of rust. And so it's uh, bending in the middle a little bit. And if you want to Get an update on that and, and the challenges that he is dealing with. Stop by uh, Captain Jack's channel, and he does a lot of live streams and gives updates on as he's traveling around. And it's interesting, um, he actually does part-time work as he travels for Circle K. And he showed me an app, which I mentioned last week, <clears throat> where he can sign up for work. And I'm looking for the app right now. I have forgotten what it's called. But anyway, he signs up for work at uh, different Circle Ks in the areas that he's traveling. And then he gets the job and he goes and works for five hours. They pay him and then he, he moves on. So, of course, I can't find it when I'm looking for it. So maybe uh, Captain Jack will will remind me. Okay, you're in Alamo Lake right now. Very cool. That's a beautiful lake. Good fishing too down there. I've heard one of our neighbors down the road fishes there quite a bit. Lonnie's finally got a clear day. It's been raining a lot. There's Misha Lee. Good morning, good morning, all the way from Virginia. Scrolling, scrolling, Tim saying hello. There's Tommy working and lurking again. <clears throat> good to have you. Yeah, you could use it, huh, Catherine? It'll get to you, it'll get to you. Lily says, I would love 80 right now, huh? Yeah, we would love it too. Hopefully it gets there soon. Gracie's going to get you some warm weather, Catherine. Take about a month, but it's on the way. Uh, shift smart. Thank you, Captain Jack. So Captain Jack uh, showed me this shift smart, and you can log in, create an account, doesn't cost you anything, and you can do some part-time work while you're traveling. Really a great program. Look at that. We got Sandra in the house. Good morning. Good morning. Hawkins Family Adventures. There's Chris. Good morning, Chris. Good morning to Steve and everyone. Good to have you. Yeah, that's okay, Sandra. That's okay. All right. So it's springtime, right? And what do we have in spring? Well, we have flowers. So we're running around here looking at flowers that are popping up in our yard. Let me take that comment off because I want to show you some cool flowers. This is uh, what we call lupine, which is a nice purple. I think uh, some people call them bonnets. 
that's coming up in our yard. This one is a, a mother-in-law plant. That's kind of cool, real pretty. I don't know why they call it that. In front of our house, we have a couple of large bushes. They, they probably about, I don't know, Okie could tell me, but 15 years old maybe. And they have these beautiful purple flowers on them and they smell like grapes. Those are blooming. In fact, they're uh, just about finished. And then we have these cute little things. So I'm trying to remember what they are. Penstemon, Penstemon, I think they're called. The hummers, the hummingbirds really like these. So springtime here in the desert is really cool. Now, have you guys heard of a agave? It's basically a succulent cactus that we have here in the desert. And it's that one in front. So that's an agave. When you look at the bottom of it, you know, it's got those leaves with a, with a spike on the end of them. And this one here is about 10 years old. We planted it a long time ago. And it's sending a stalk up in the air. And it's just very unusual looking. But that stock has buds on it. There's a close-up of what that stock looks like. Well, this is uh, the last hurrah, as I would call it, for this plant. When they send the stock up, that's, you know, they, they've got buds on them, and that's how they propagate and and send their their uh, seeds out they actually grow many uh, plants on this stalk and then it eventually dies but that one is in in our front yard and so we're watching it taking pictures of it so we can remember it because once that stalk dries out the cactus dies kind of sad but <clears throat> everything has a an end, I guess. Now, these are from last year. You've seen our saguaro cactus that we have here in the desert. Well, this is a saguaro cactus in bloom. Those will be coming here in another month or so. And then a lot of our cactus is going to start blooming too. So you might have a real small, tiny cactus and it puts out these huge, beautiful flowers. This is one that's also in our cactus garden from last year. And we can see buds on them right now. So they'll be coming out soon. We've done really well with rain this year. This is a picture of part of our backyard. And it's never green, but it is right now. We had uh, some nice rain again yesterday. Oh, look at that. I got a visitor. Lucas is in the house. Hopefully you can see him. Mama playing with you, huh? You're huffing and puffing. Yeah, yeah. All right. There he is. There he is. Okay, now I can see him. Yeah. You having fun out there? Okay. So there's Lucas saying hello to everybody. And there's Lucas again, hanging out with the poppies. We have a lot of poppies out there, yellow poppies. And the rain has come just at the right time to keep them going. This is Lucas in March of 2024. And this is Lucas last year in 2023. So you can see he was a lot thinner then. He might be a little more spoiled now than he was last year. A little bit. All right. Back to the chat. Yes, we can, Lonnie. We can collect them and, uh, and plant 100 new agaves. You know, Captain Jack, I think it's similar. I think it's similar 
supposedly they have a, a heart uh, in them that you can, the, the Native Americans used to use them, plant them and use them. Let me go backwards here. There, there I was. Sandra can't tag everybody, but that's okay. Poppies, yep. Lots of poppies. And Sandra says it's cold here again. Well, it's kind of cool here too. It's only 65 today. Look at that. We got Badge up early this morning. He actually made it. Good morning, good morning. Good to see you, Badge. Get ready to head north, I suppose. Inquiring minds want to know. Thank you, Misha. Yeah, they are cool, huh, Chris? Okay, you're in Washington right now. There's Lucas again. You can probably hear him <laughs> huffing and puffing down here. See the curtain back there? That's his tail. That's my green screen curtain. And Lucas is wagging his tail, knocking it around. I guess that's why we call you wiggle butt, huh? Yeah, desert flowers in the spring. I mean, they're they're short lived because it gets hot quickly. But yeah, we do have prickly pear here too, and they have flowers also. I think it's similar. I think it's similar, um, but. I haven't done tequila and probably won't because I'm I'm getting too old for that alcohol stuff. But back in the day, I drank a little tequila, but I think I think that's what they use is the agave plant. And yes, you can plant other ones and you basically take them off that stock and you pot them and then once they're established, a good roots established, and you can plant them. Oh, I didn't know that. The blue agave is protected in Arizona. Yep, there's Lucas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a good boy. He's uh, training us. We're we're still in training, and the first thing he likes to do is go out and and uh, play catch with the ball. So that's an everyday affair. In fact, I'll bet I'll bet we throw the ball for him fifty times a day. Keeps him out of trouble. I'm back. Phone was running. Had to had to talk, been listening. Okay. Yeah. There, I was looking at the book on the agaves. We have a, a book that, that this one's Mount, mountain flyers, but we, we have a number of books that show different plant life here in Arizona and in the, in the desert Southwest. Um, and there's a number of different agave plants. There's probably a dozen or more. And I can't keep them all straight. Happy Place Camping is in the house. Good morning, good morning. Can't stay long. Thanks for coming in, Felix. Appreciate it very much. You made it with coffee. Waiting for better weather at home. Oh, my. Yeah, wiggle butts on. Huh? They're so funny. So Lily uh, shares video of her uh, Pippi, which is a lab mix. And uh, she is just a cutie. 
Traveling on Adventures is here. Hello, hello. That's Earl and Terry. <clears throat> They're hanging out on Friday nights with Mel and Nettie. Rainy, Texas. Ah, okay. It's the blue agave that you make tequila from. All right. It's good to know. Good to know. That's right. Earl and Terry are doing a live stream. Is that today? Are you guys doing a live stream after Roy and Becky? So here's today's schedule from this point on. Of course, you're hanging out with me. And then after me is Tanya, Van Life Voyages. She's going to give us an update on, on uh, her coffee chat about Derek. And then show you how she makes her coffee. And then after that, we have uh, at 10 o'clock, we have Roy and Becky's Travels. We'll be doing a live stream. And then is Earl and Terry coming after them? Let me look. Let me see if their thumbnail's up. This is their first live stream by themselves. Traveling on adventures. Yep. So they're live in two hours. Traveling on adventures is live in two hours. So they'll be after Roy and Becky. And I turned on the notifications. So I'll pop in there and say hello. And any of the moderators that want to drop links, feel free to do that. I'm waiting for the snow to stop so I can plow everyone out. Ooh, that's that white stuff we hear about, right? It piles up. I may have to shovel some sunshine today. Because it's already piling up out there. It looks pretty bright. Oh, yeah. How's the puppy doing, Chris? We're going to float away. The shore of the lake is literally creeped out. Oh, boy. Well, luckily, it's a lake, right? Not a river. That might be a little more challenging. The agave americana is the one that looks like the century plant. Okay. One o'clock central. All right. There's Van Life Voyages. Good morning. Good morning. Let me see. I'm looking to see. All right. Van Life Voyages, scrolling backwards. Oh, there's a new short of Pippi. Puppy's doing good there over in Chris's area. There's a short of Pippi. And Mel and Nettie dropped a Traveling on Adventures live stream. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. And I'm trying to figure out here if I can find whoa, made it up to the power pedestal before. That's not good. Waiting for Sedona and the Grand Canyon to warm up. Oh, that'll be nice. Sedona is a beautiful place up there in northern Arizona. That's where Oki and I like to go up. We have our new fur baby, Duke, half in my lap and going down my legs. Catherine, what kind of dog is it? Sounds like a big puppy. 
and see. I am trying to Okay, add as a moderator, standard moderator. All right, traveling on adventures is now a mod, channel mod. Yeah, there, Lucas thinks he's a lap dog too. He's like 65 pounds and he loves to crawl up in our lap. You're welcome, you're welcome. And I think it's pinned to the top up there. Yeah, it's pinned to the top of the chat. So Tanya will be over. Yeah, electricity and, and water don't mix very well. Look at that, we got van life with Gina in the house. Good morning, good morning, Gina. Good to see you. Hope you've got some good weather up there. And there's traveling on adventures live stream will be after again after Roy and Becky's travels. I haven't seen Roy and Becky in here yet. Must be a late morning for them. All right, there's the address to send Derek a card. Land Cloud Adventures is in the house. Good morning, good morning, Nate. Good to see you. And hugs to Paula. Yeah, I think uh, Tanya posted that address too. So I think we'll get an update here in a little while. And uh, we're expecting good, good information and good news. Oh, that's not good. Did they shut those off? Now a power pedestal in an RV park for people that don't know, that's what you plug into to get your electricity hooked up. And you never want to plug into a power pedestal uh, while it's in the water because you could get electrocuted and you don't want that. Ringo and Zars here. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you. Nate saying good morning. Okay, so what else is going on? Captain Jack says, oh boy. So this laptop's working pretty well. What do you guys think? This is a, uh, a MacBook. I had a MacBook Air and it just wasn't uh, doing the job. It was running real slow, reminded me of the old days when you had the old DOS computers and, and it would take forever to do anything. That's how my Mac Air was that's the entry level Mac book that you get. So I went out and I splurged and got a MacBook Pro and it's working a lot faster. It has a lot more memory, a lot more RAM. And so editing videos has become a joy rather than a pain. And then I buy these, these uh, removable hard drives. I always stick with Seagate and this is one that I've already filled up, drive number two. It's a five terabyte drive. So it's full and it's been around about a year. Well, going on two years now and it's full. So I bought another one, which I have hooked up to this laptop. And it's also a five terabyte. It takes a lot of data when you're editing um, using Filmora, which is what I use, and of course, saving your photos and your and your video off to the side uh, it takes a lot of data. So anyway, I'm really happy with this new laptop. I really enjoy it. 
I'm considering getting a speaker, not a speaker, but a microphone for it. Um, separate microphone, but I'm not sure yet. I'm still re researching that. Felix saying hello. Nate saying hello. <clears throat> now, Nate, it's hard to keep up with you. Are you in the States or are you back in Canada? Scrolling, scrolling. Oh, yeah, I know. How do you ever turn on the computer without? I had that problem this morning, Felix. I got up late about five minutes to six, which is late for me. I'm usually up at five. And I said, oh, no, Ava, Potterfield Live is coming up. So I jumped on there, made a comment as, as I got ready, showered, and... Uh, Got some coffee on. And then listened while, while she started her live. Weekend, Arvin is here. Good morning, good morning. Good to have you. Yeah, I think we all have the same problem. I've got to have that coffee. All right. That's right. You're up there, huh? Yeah, they're sleeping in a little bit late today. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Weekend RV and saying hello, hello. Yep, we got storms brewing in Arkansas today. In the springtime when it warms up, that's when the storms get going, huh? especially in, in the Midwest where Chris is. Look at that. We got Janice from Oz here. Good morning. Good morning. It's a uh, early, early morning where she is. Yeah. Get well cards. Those are good. Janice saying hello to everybody. Oh, yeah, I'll bet, because they're heading that direction, huh? Question from Lily. I don't know how to add music to my videos. Uh, Lily, what kind of phone do you have? Do you use a phone? Oh, no, you have a laptop. All right, Nate's in Canada. Awesome. So happy for you guys. <clears throat> Oki is feeling a lot better for anybody that, that didn't know. Uh, she had a kidney stone, and I had to run her to ER, geez, last week, week before last, I guess. And, and the pain is gone. She doesn't know if she passed it or not, but the pain is gone, so we're not sure if it dissolved or if it came out. We don't really know. but. The good thing is she's feeling much better. In fact, she's going to go into town today and run some errands. And, uh, you know, when your partner, loved one, husband or wife is not feeling good, uh, everything is dark. And she's up this morning singing and having a good time. And it's good to see her back feeling good again. So we think uh, we're past it. But. It was a tough time for her. Anyone who's had kidney stones knows they're not easy. I mean, it's she described the pain as worse than childbirth. Was Paula under the weather? Coffee first and then the laptop, right? <laughs> That's right. Well, Janice, you're you're a late. You're a late nighter because you're on everyone in the U.S.'s live streams, right? 2.30 a.m. The only time I see 2.30 a.m., Janice, is when I got to get up to pee. Yeah, 
a true night owl, night owl. <laughs> Go to bed, Janice. She will, she will. But not yet, Janice, not yet. You, you have just a few more minutes, another 20 minutes. And Kathleen Klein says, greetings from the tundra. Ah, and tent, you must be having cold weather too, up in South Dakota. Ivan K is here. Good morning, good morning. Listening while tidying up for company coming. Awesome. Got to meet Ivan and Quartzite. Heck of a nice guy. Scrolling, scrolling. Oh, look at that. We got Grandma Kelly's Clean Life, Clean Living. She's going to be going live on Tuesday morning, I think. And she's also a channel member. So thank you very much. I bought one of her, her travel cups and it works great. I, I showed it off last uh, Monday. So we'll be sure to check out Grandma Kelly in the morning for her live stream on Tuesday morning. Okay, you have a Samsung. All right. See, I I only know Apple products, Lily. Um, but there are, you have a laptop though, right? So if you have a laptop, you can record on your phone and then transfer that recording to your laptop and then find some software to put that recording into that program. And then you can add music to it from that point. Now, I use Filmora. Filmora is what I use. And they have a free version. But iMovie also works for, for iPhones. Good to see you, Kelly. Good to see you. Grandma Kelly's uh, got a new house, and she's working on it. She's She's getting improvements done making it livable. It's an old farmhouse and uh, really interesting to watch uh, the process that she's going through. It's a lot of work, a lot of work, but she's getting there. Scrolling, scrolling. Oh, is it happy birthday tomorrow, Kelly? Your 29th birthday, I heard. Is that right? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she's she's much better. Much better. That's right, Chris. If mama isn't happy, nobody is. Or sick, right? When your spouse is, is not feeling good, it's a dark day. Thank you, Gracie. Much better. Um, it's... I'm much happier because she's feeling good. Okay, the second. So one more week. All right. So the 2nd of April is Grandma Kelly's birthday. All right. So Wanderers Chasing Horizons. This is Tracy and Kimberly from Michigan. Started our full-time journey in November of 22 have spent most of our time in Arizona, but heading north to travel soon. Awesome. So Wanderers Chasing Horizons, can somebody post their link if we haven't already done so? Nice to meet you. We have a friendly group of people here. And again, I'm terrible with names. This is Tracy and Kimberly. Tracy and Kimberly. Okay. All right. Very good. Welcome. And we're just for your information, Tracy and Kimberly, we're down in Southern Arizona. Not sure where you're at, but we're uh, Northwest of Tucson inside the Ironwood Forest National Monument. And we've been here for, geez, about 20 years. All right, she's 80% back. We both got something that sticks around. Yeah, I think that bug has gone around. I think we had it early. Yeah, 
everybody's saying hello. All right. <clears throat> scrolling, scrolling. There it is. Thank you, Gracie. So there's uh, Wanderers Chasing Horizons channel. I'm going to bring that up since you took the time to come in today. We will get you some subs. Wanderers. Wanderers, E-R-S, Wanderers Chasing, there you are. And then there they are right there, Wanderings Chasing Horizons. And I'm going to subscribe, and there we go. I'm now subscribed. Looks like they're in Quartzite, exploring Quartzite. So everybody stop by and check them out. Scary ATV ride. Looks like they have some good stuff. Look at those thumbnails. Very well done. Very well done. Here's another one. If you want to hear about quartzite and check that out, there's, there's another thumbnail. Very well done. Quartzite vendors. Very cool. All right. We'll definitely be over there. Another link. All right. Felix has got to run. You have a great day, too. Thanks for coming in, Felix. And I always watch Happy Place Camping. And she's also got a Happy Place Cooking channel, too, <clears throat> where she does... Uh, Cooking especially works well for nomads and people that are out camping. All right, Tuesday morning, 6 a.m. until the end of the month. All merchandise is 25% off. And there's your code. Thank you, 25, for Grandma Kelly's merchandise. Good quality stuff. So check it out. Chris saying hello. All right, get Femora Go on your phone, Lily. Okay, that's good advice. All right, <clears throat> and then so Sandra has her AA meetings uh, live tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. That's good to know. Okay, CapCut is another pretty e easy software. So you have to experiment a little bit, Lily, but it's fun. Once you get going, find a program that you can work with. You know, you can still post your shorts, Lily, like you normally do, and then start playing with some software and trying it out. The free versions are the best way to go. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. Thank you. Appreciate that very much. Happy birthday. April 2nd is one more Tuesday. And I think Grandma Kelly will be 29 years old. No way. The big 6-0? You don't look a day over 29. How'd I do? Oh, Kathleen Klein's birthday is coming up, too. We have two April ladies. That's awesome. So Sandra and Tommy's birthday is Thursday. <laughs> I'm doing unbirthdays. I haven't, <clears throat> I hadn't heard of that. So are you going backwards? Is that what you're doing? Oh, yeah. Doug and Ava, 14th wedding anniversary is coming up on Friday. Very cool. It was funny uh, on her live stream, she asked Doug, so how many years have we been married? All the women in here, you know how us guys are. We don't remember dates real well. But we know what day we bought our last vehicle. <laughs> we always remember that. Or when our oil changes do, 
but ask us when our wedding anniversary is or how many years we've been married. So I checked with Oki this morning. We've been married 38 years, together 40. So we're real happy about that. And congratulations, Doug and Ava, for 14 years. Glad to have you here. Great. Yeah, that's Oki in the back. Let me let me close this. Oh, I think she just turned it off. Yeah, I think that you're hearing her in the kitchen area. So I'm in the office here and uh, I could hear her laptop out there. So that's probably what you hear. Yeah, that's probably what you hear. Is it gone now? Ah, we have wanted to visit Ironwood. Now live in Kingman. Oh, very cool. Yeah, the Ironwood Forest National Monument is northwest of Tucson. It's 129,000 acres out here. And if you guys can boondock camp, it's a very quiet. More and more people are finding it, but it's a relatively quiet. Not a lot of people out here. It's BLM land, and it's a beautiful area out here. Yep, we'll check them out. We'll check them out. Looks like they have some good stuff on there. <clears throat> so Gracie is up there in Quartzsite, picking up some new subs. Oh, yeah, Kingman's a great area. Oatman. I'll bet they've got a video on it because that's up in, in the Kingman area. Oatman is a really cool little town. They have uh, burrows running around. If your hot water heater goes belly up, knowing how nomads stay clean is a real benefit. Uh-oh. Yep, just a towel dipped in the toilet and you too can stay clean. Oh, no, not in the toilet, no, in a bucket. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. So, Lily, check out CapCut. And I think a number of people I've heard use that. Yeah, play around with it. You'll have fun, Lily, once you get started with it. It's, you know, it's a creative thing. And uh, you can make it as easy or, you know, spend as much time as you want on it to, to dress up your videos. But it's kind of fun to, to put your, you know, your touch on it and, uh, and put your logo on there and a little bit of music. And it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. Reptiles and research. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming in. We do live in the desert. We are in southern Arizona, northwest of Tucson, south of Phoenix, and we live inside the Ironwood Forest National Monument. What I do on Monday mornings is just come in and chit chat. I showed some photos of some of the desert flowers that we have blooming. Let me show you a couple of those. We have some some of these blooming. This is my neighbor Karen, by the way. Uh, I took care of her hornbill. She she is a bird uh, lady. I call her very knowledgeable about birds. I don't know why that happened, but anyway, this is her back porch. And you can see all kinds of flowers are coming up and lots of green. But anyway, that's what we're doing is we're talking about springtime in the desert. Here's the hornbill. This is Karen's hornbill. 
that I took care of. She uh, she went out and did some birding with some friends. And so I took care of her bird for her for a couple of days while she was gone. Really interesting uh, lady, a lot of knowledge. She actually started a living desert in Palm Springs, California, probably close to 50 years ago. Very knowledgeable. I've learned a lot from her and Oki and I enjoy uh, chatting with her. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, find uh, Pump Station Road. I'm not sure if you're in a van or an RV, but Pump Station Road is a good, flat, safe place to camp. And then once you get out here, if you want to look towards Ragged Top Mountain, you can actually move farther out if you like. It is a dirt road, but it's uh, it's maintained. And you can you can get away from uh, not the crowd, but you can get away from other campers and move farther out. Yeah, go to Oatman, Gracie. I don't know what happened there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Every time my parents go with us, the burrows bite my dad. They don't like them. Well, I wonder why that is. <clears throat> I know time flies when you're having fun, right? Oh, I've never experienced that. Wow. Reverse aging. Okay. I hit my third childhood. Now working on the second. That's funny. I agree, Kelly. I'm happy with every next birthday. I just don't know why I'm 60 already. Hey, I'm uh, I'm going to be 68 this year. I don't feel 68. Well, some days I do, but for the most part, I still feel like I'm 40. I think because Oki takes such good care of me. That's funny. Scrolling, scrolling. Yeah, it's an old mining town. The miners left their burrows behind when they left. Exactly. Now, Chris used to live down here, and he he knows a lot of the history of uh, southern Arizona. Oh, yeah, there's also some up in Parker. Alamo Lake is a beautiful area, beautiful area. It's warming up. Yeah, Kingman's a neat little town. Okay, Grandma Kelly, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Heading to Kingman on Thursday. Yeah, they're usually on the on the hills out there. Yep, it does. It's uh, and Gracie's got her van, so she, I think she'll be okay. I ordered some desert marigold seeds. Should I soak them first? I don't think so. Um, I mean, any any desert plants, not necessarily soaked in water, but what we do is we'll use a tray and we'll put we'll put some uh, paper towels in the bottom of a tray. Then we'll lay the seeds in there and then put a paper towel over it and then just keep it wet for a few days. And then it'll eventually uh, germinate and then you can transfer to a small pot at that point. So that's how we do our seed propagation. Well, that's right. The eclipse is coming up next month, huh? Yep. 
I heard uh, Ava talking this morning. I think her weather report showed rain on the day of the eclipse, and she's hoping it clears up so they can see it. They like to film that stuff. Yeah, exactly, huh? Yeah, Gracie and Jock's Adventures, uh, if you, Wandering Chasing Horizons, 30-foot fifth wheel. Okay, you can get into pump station then. I wouldn't go beyond that, but if uh, if you look at look at it on Google Maps, there's a camp area on Pump Station Road. Yep. And then if you guys have a toad or something to travel around some uh, bicycles, head out towards Ragged Top Mountain. In fact, you go right by the area where we live. <clears throat> um, and you'll see Ragged Top Mountain out there. It's very distinct, unique, uh, small mountain, about 3,000 feet. Uh, beautiful area out there. Well, looks like Roy just woke up. Good morning, good morning. Yep, they have a ton of burrows. Do you like to sit next to our rig at night? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, the Painted Desert is pretty cool, too. Team Crazy Awesome is here. Thanks for the editing discussion, newbie here. Well, welcome. Welcome, Team Crazy. Thanks for coming in. The Painted Desert is awesome. Yes, it sure is. All right, looks like Mel and Nettie are taking off. You guys have a great day. Yeah, hoping it'll be clear on Eclipse Day, huh? Well, the interesting thing, Ava, if it is cloudy and rainy, you can step outside and say, nope, we can't see it. You go back in your house. People like Captain Jack that are traveling to see the eclipse, what do you do? I mean, you invest all that time and money getting to where you can see it. Hopefully the weather's good. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Bark his head off at the burrows, right? I think uh, Lucas probably would too. He's just now kind of getting used to horses around. We have horses in the neighborhood and uh, he's he's starting to get used to them. Yeah. We'll take the, the quiet day, huh? All right, folks, we're going to run over and see uh, Van Life Voyages. Tanya is uh, starting her live stream now. So we'll do a Desert Adventures raid on them. In the meantime, thanks, everybody, for coming. We'll see you next time, next Monday, same time, same place. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.